On the way 10, this time of year, many people starting to take a deeper look in the mirror. As we know, fitness goals are often the number one New Year's resolution. And one gym told us it's already seen an increase in new members before the new year even gets here. So we are looking into how you can make the best of those new year fitness goals and how gyms are dealing with the surge of some new clients during the pandemic. Jarvis Robertson on the treadmill tonight. No, he's actually outside <laughs> Planet Fitness. We figured he'd be uh, in there working out tonight, Jarvis. Get your workout on your pump. <laughs> You know what, guys? Many warmer, people don't like to work out in front of the cameras. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can yeah, you hear me? We got yeah. you. Oh, you were talking. I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. Sorry. But uh, a lot of people, they get a little funny and weird in front of the cameras trying to work out because, let's be honest, you're not in the, the prettiest form of yourself. But for many people, those fitness goals, they can certainly be challenging. That's why today I spoke with trainers and someone here at Planet Fitness to find out how they're going to take on those goals and help each other make it through. Fitness is always, you know, the number one goal on people's minds going into the new year. And Abby Banks is one of those people headed back to the gym. I asked how long she's been away. Uh, about a year. Because so much has happened. You just get so caught up with everyday life. I wanted to know if this was one of her new year goals. Kind of, and then a friend of ours is in town and he goes to the gym every day and he's kind of got us going back as well. But making those fitness goals won't necessarily be the same across the board. Everyone's different. Um, everyone has different goals in mind as well. Um, and there's different ways to go about that, of course. Personal trainer and fitness instructor Ryan Thrush says starting out easy, then increasing your performance is key. Right here. Banks understands that. She's taking her time one step at a time. It's, it feels a little harsh because, you know, it's like the first day back and your muscles are burning. But, you know, hopefully I'll get used to it and grow stronger. To get that routine down as well, you know, starting off simply just a full body 30 minute workout can be as simple as that. Try to establish the routine because um, getting here, you know, is the hardest part because once you're here, it's easy. You just you're here. With COVID cases on the rise again, Planet Fitness have signs posted for people to wipe equipment down after using. You constantly clean and sanitize all of our equipment. I just, you know, practice sanitation. The overall understanding of your fitness and health goals will help you succeed. The biggest thing is to make sure we're not burning ourselves out right away. Now, the trainer also told me that for those people starting out with new fitness goals, it's best that you start out going to the gym about two to three days a week. Then from there, starting to increase the number of times you're showing up. He also said that setting milestones along the way to reaching that goal is also going to help you sustain that and also meet that goals, meet that goal. Now, Cody and Victoria, I have a challenge for you guys. I think we should all go do some hot yoga. I really love doing that. Victoria, we've done it together before, but Cody, you should join us. It would be so much fun and we could all get a workout in as a news team. We're live here in Simpsonville tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.